Hello, hello. I've come to work on these little jars with the glitter in that I showed in the haul video. Um, I'm not sure when I put the, the haul video is going up tomorrow, which is Friday. So these will probably come out Sunday, Monday, Monday, probably. Um, what I want to do is make these into some pretty jars for some vignette boxes but I also want to make them safe because this is not biodegradable glitter. I am, I have lost a teeny tiny amount of glitter but I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jars already so this is a, a very small amount and I am not going to wash that down the sink at all. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a glitter one first and show you what I have been doing with them. I've got alcohol inks, I've got glossy accents glue, I've got a baby wipe at the ready. Um, and I'm gonna give these a kind of two-tone look. Uh, if I show you one, oh, it's still drying, but if I can grab one of these and just give you a little kind of, I don't know if you can get a really good view of what they look like but they kind of look this one this one I think I'm trying to keep this in frame is the sequins not the glitter the glitter ones look slightly different they look like this and we're gonna do one of each I'm also going to, this video will be a little bit longer today, I'm just going to decorate the jars, but once they're completely dry, they're going to take overnight at least. I'll decorate the jars in more detail tomorrow. So we're just going to do the jars themselves. So I'm just going to tap the bottom to make sure as much of the glitter off comes off that cork as possible. And I'm just using that one area really to keep my cork in. And then it's just a case of picking colours depending on the colour of the glitter. I am going to go, um, I'm going to try a blue in this one. I haven't used blue in a red glitter yet, so we're going to give this a go. And what I do is pick the jar up and just tilt it slightly one way and then pop a little bit of the alcohol ink down the side of the jar. And I just go all of the way around the jar. Now obviously it's not necessarily going to stick to the glass jar because it hasn't been primed with maybe a collage medium for the ink to sit on the glass. But it, what it will do is it will um, stick to that glitter because it's plastic. I'm just going to pull off a little bit of sponge, hold the sponge and just gently wiggle that side to side. And what you'll notice is it does actually slowly bleed further down the jar. Now I'm going to go round again, put some more ink in. I'm not necessarily looking for it to go all of the way down. And I shake it sideways because if you shake it up and down, you're obviously going to lose the glitter into that sponge or whatever you decide to use to hold it down. A piece of tissue would work too. Okay, now I'm just going to go down the side a little bit more on that side. Oops, that was way more than I wanted to put in there. <laughs> so I'm just going to give that... A few seconds to drizzle down the side just move it about a little bit it will just keep slowly bleeding down the jar down that glitter until it's kind of comes to a, a natural stop where it dries now it's actually turned the glitter quite dark in this case so what I'm going to do is rather than use a darker color um, alcohol ink. I'm going to use one of the alloy. So I'm going to give that a shake. And I'm going to do the same thing. Pick up my jar, tilt it very slightly and put some of the alloy around the side. 
these ones I'm going to leave it a little bit longer before I turn the jar because this doesn't run very quickly. I am going to put a little bit of a darker ink on top of this alloy because it does help feed it down the jar. Okay, so now I'm going to take, I'm going to go uh, black. No, nope, that's not black. Where's the black? Here we go. This is pitch black. And I'm going to add a little bit again around the edge as I tilt that jar. This time the black has kind of run down the, down the glitter. I think this one's probably a little bit more packed. The glitter's a little bit packed, a bit tighter than in the other jar. Right, that will do for now. Obviously it doesn't matter if all the jars look slightly different. So what I do, my tip, it has got a hole in, so I have to hold it up, but I'm going to hold it above my jar and then I'm just going to drip some glue into that jar. And I don't mind if it fills up too much. Can you see how close to the top that is? If I get some drips down the side, I'm happy with that. I'm going to put my cork in and very slowly push that cork into place and the glue will come up and over. I don't know if you can see what's happening here. The glue will come up and over the edge of the jar and that's great because we love a few of those drips down the side and if it doesn't drip it is dripping here can you see got a little air bubble but that's fine I'm going to take the pokey tool and just pop that so this now needs to sit aside and dry for quite a long time but you can see that bright glitter look has gone this one hasn't worked quite as well because obviously I put a little bit too much black in there um, but it's it's definitely changed the colour and the look of that jar hopefully you can see that but you can see the silver along the top there and along here we've got some drips coming down so that's great I'm gonna put that one aside these ones work a lot better. They, you get a much better effect with these sequins. So I'm just going to tap that to get the sequins off the, off the cork. Now, what colour I think I'm going to go? I haven't got any green ones apart from the green glitter, um, which started off as gold glitter. So I'm going to go for green. I know it's pink, but we might get a really funky kind of colour look for this. So I'm just going to go around the edge again with my... If you pour it into the middle, it's just going to go into those sequins and you're not really going to get the effect of the colour around the edge of the glass. So I'm going to take my sponge and give it a shake. Let me see. Just going to give that a little bit more. I mean, I'm putting hardly any in here, really. It does spread out really well with the sequins rather than the. Okay, I'm just going to gently shake that. It's not doing anything with the sequins, but it's, it's definitely moving the liquid about. Now I'm going to take. Um, I've got a different green, so that was botanical, this one is Everglades. I'm going to pop a little bit of this in, just to see what it does. And now I think I'm going to go, let's go for the gilded. Actually, I think I might, I might try my luck and pop a little bit of this Lagoon Blue in there, just to see. Yeah. 
And then we'll go for this gilded. These ones with the sequins in, you really do get a fantastic effect with the... Just have a little look around there. I can't tip it on its side, obviously, to show you more clearly at the moment. I will be able to shortly, so I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to put on... This will end up sealing in the sequins or glitter, but it will also seal your lid your cork stopper there we go you can see how cool that looks there we go so that that looks like a really gooey potion in there so that is part one um, I love the green with that gold and you can just get a little little flash of the pink or the silver kind of sequins every now and then. So that's that. Um, I can show you this was the bigger, this was really pink, the glitter in here and again you can see the silver around the top there. This one was really cool. So we've got a little bit more decorating to do, but these are coming along nicely. I will see you in a few minutes for you <laughs> once these are dry and we can add our little embellishments and continue to decorate them. They're not completely dry, but they're mostly dry. So I've got a fairly thin paintbrush. I'm going to have to be really careful. Actually, I'm not going to do that one just yet. Um, they're almost, almost dry. So because this also has to dry, I'm going to do this stage next. So I've just got some black acrylic paint and I'm going to paint the little corks at the top because um, I don't want them cork colour to make them black and then what I do at the end is add some wax either silver or gold just to give those a little bit more interest um, but the jars are looking pretty good it's not the same as filling them with just because uh, what I do usually is I put in a little bit of collage medium water it down or matte medium um, give the jars a really good shake when they're empty. Maybe use a paintbrush to move it around on the inside of the jar and then I add um, alcohol ink. So these look very different because they have the glitter or the, um, the sequins in. But I do think they look pretty cool. where I'm going to start decorating my jars. They did turn out really well, I think. But they just look super cool. Uh, some of them worked better than others. Um, this one, they're kind of the black. There's a lot of black around the top where I put in the silver and also the um, collage medium. Some of them are a little bit plainer. This one's quite a plain jar. The black seeped in and there's a little bit here and there. So what I've done is these are some of my little specimen labels that I have shrunk down quite small. I've inked just with alcohol ink some really cheap little charms that I got from Amazon. I have some thread to tie around the tops of my jars and I'm going to do an experiment because I've not 
glued these little metal items on before. I have glued them onto wood and I've used art glitter glue and that's been absolutely fine. I'm gonna try this E6000 and this one is the low odor one. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna give both of those a try and see how they go. The first thing I want to do is I'm just gonna show you, obviously this little one, I've already taken the top off. I need to take the tops off these charms. So that's a little tiny spider's web. And I just used my jewellery making pliers and literally snip those off. So that's that removed. I've just laid them out so I have them how I want them. And what I'll do, what I do is I hold them down with, you can see my tweezers. Um, I hold them down and then I use the sponge and just dab the alcohol ink onto those. Now this one is a little bit more fiddly. So what I do is I just take off the top roughly because you don't have room to get the pliers in there particularly well. But once that's, once the worst of it's off, I can now go in with the pliers in between those legs and get those little bits off. I just need to turn those around. So just because you have a charm with a just because you have a charm with the um, with the ring on doesn't mean you have to keep them. You can take those off quite easily. This one might be a little bit more tricky. Turn that round, I can get a bit closer. I might have to go back in with the alcohol ink on this one. You can see, got a little bit of silver there now. Go back in with that alcohol ink to remove that. That will now need to dry for a few minutes. Okay, so we're getting there. They're gonna look very cool. The next, and I'm going to just move all of these aside. Let's start. I've also got a little bit of cheesecloth there because we may go that route. Let's start with the little embellishments. Some of them, so this is a purple jar with gold, um, with gold ink. So I'm going to use a silver and just put a tiny, tiny bit on my finger, and I'm just going to dab that spider just to give that a little bit more interest. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna do this one with a little bit of silver too. So that's those used and done. Right. Um, I'm going to leave those aside as well for a moment. The next thing I want to do is add my thread. So what I'm going to do is take my bottle. I, I'm not really fussed where I tie it, but I'm just going to go round a couple of times on this bottle. And then I'm just going to tie it in a double knot. that off depending on how short I want it now some of them I'm going to take my ink brush and just go round and ink that and it's so much easier to ink it once it's in place there we go so that one is now done I'm going to do the same with all of the others Okay, so those are all done. Now, um, I actually had to swap colour um, 
I ran out of the, the, the ivory thread I was using and I have no idea where, the, where it is. <laughs> so I found the brown one and I used that. So thing I'm gonna do is the ones that are fairly straightforward, they are literally just a label. We're gonna do those first and I think uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of cheesecloth to some of these. I don't want it too thick, so I'm just gonna grab one layer of my cheesecloth and just pop that onto my jar. I want the ties at the front. So I'm just gonna do that. Um, Ooh, rolly rolly. Um, actually I'll find something a bit better than that. I'm just going to use a piece of tissue to hold that in place. Lay down my cheesecloth. I'm going to take my art glitter glue and I know this glue is absolutely fine for sticking paper onto these glass jars. Glue that. And then I'm going to put that down and hold it for a few seconds. On these larger jars with the glitter in, I'm using slightly larger labels. I'm going to trim a little bit of this. Just pull that out. That is pretty cool, I think. So then I have this little one here. I'm not going to put any cheesecloth under this one because the jar's quite small. So glue the label, put that into place and just hold it down for a few seconds. Just wipe that glue. This glue dries super clear. So it's absolutely perfect for this job and it takes just a few seconds for it to, to grab but that is super cute we've not finished with these yet there's still a little bit to do this is one of the teeny tiny jars but that just looks so cute absolutely I love it and I love the way the inside of that one is dry because it's got a little gap if you look at it from the side there's a little gap in there so that one is done okay let's try let's try this spider so this is the purple and gold one get a little look at that okay I'm gonna take my spider I'm going to put a small amount of glue on the back and I'm going to fill that hole of the spider and I'm just going to put a little dab on there. I'm not sure if any of this is going to work or if it's necessary. Put him into place. I'm not so sure this is going to work. But I'm wondering if that will. <laughs> okay. It's plan number two. I believe collage medium will work. Let's try that. So I'm pretty sure I've seen the infamous Mr. Holtz use this on. I've got a bit of <laughs> this. I've got a bit of ink on my nib. And Let's see. Let's see what this does. I'm going to leave that like that. It's looking promising. So I'm going to move that aside, leave that on my tissue and I'm going to get another piece. Now 
one of them I'm going to attempt to use a label and then attach a metal piece. Oh, that's gone right through the glue net. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for art glitter glue again here and see if we have any more success gluing the metal onto the paper. Like I said, I've had some success using the art glitter glue onto the paper mache, metal elements onto the paper mache. So let's see if this will hold on here. So little dabs of glue, because I'm not 100% sure where this is gonna, and I'm gonna push that on. I'm gonna lay that one on the side too. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the rest of the labels on um, and then come back and see how that glue is taking. I'm back, I'm back, I finished them off. Now, I went back to Tim Holtz's video. It's called, it's the demo on distress and texture from three months ago. And at about 25 minutes, he talks about what this will glue. And he says it will glue metal on wood, Wood on plastic, plastic on metal, metal on metal, metal on glass, glass on glass. It all it will glue all sorts. Um, so I have taken Tim at his word and I have finished gluing these on. They are far from dry, but it does say on the bottle the drying time will depend on how much glue you use. Although these are, you know, they're not they are still fairly loose I could push them around with my finger if I wanted to this one where I used the art glitter glue that's well and truly already really pretty well stuck on there but I'm just going to leave that in place too for a while I've got a feeling these are going to take a while to dry this one I used some cheesecloth under the um, skull and crossbones and that has actually um grabbed a lot quicker that one I think will dry a lot quicker than these three where it is metal straight onto glass but um, Tim says it's going to work and we all trust Tim so I'm going to leave those to dry and no need for me to use that E6000 which I'm really really pleased about now I am going to attempt something that I haven't done on any of these bottles before I've done it on other things obviously but not on these bottles so this is what they all look like at the moment. The first one I'm going to try is going to be, let's have a little look. Um, I think I'm gonna do this one. It's a red bottle. It's not my favorite. So I'm gonna to attempt to do a little bit of wax dripping. I haven't actually inked that thread round the lid so I'm just going to quickly do that got my candle I'm going to do it the other way around got my candle Okay, this one's pretty cool. It's gone over the top of the label, so that's quite nice. I'm just going to actually give that a little bit of a wiggle, see if I can get that moving a little bit more. I'm going to try that last one. We've got a smaller cork here, so we might get a bit of a better effect. going to try and put a little bit more on the back there okay I may have gone a little bit over the top with that one that's not quite cool enough yet this one looks pretty cool I like that 
Uh, this one um, is not too bad. I'm going to add a little something there. Right now, so we've got three of them. This one looks pretty cool. Our little potion jar. And I'm going to just put a little bit of gold on my board. And I'm going to use a little bit of the gold on this wax and around the edge of that jar and then when we've got some of the cork showing I'm going to add a little bit of gold there too actually I might do that one with silver just going to go round a little bit on some of these corks just to kind of take that stark black off it um, I quite like around the edges of this a little bit so if you can see the light is not great what I'll do is I'll add some pictures at the end that one I'm going to do in silver I think that one I'm going to do in silver let's do this one in gold just add a little bit to that string as well I think why not I hope you enjoyed that I will um, finish them and then uh, uh, finish those ones and then I will take some images so you can get a clearer view of what they look like done thank you for joining me I will see you all again really soon Bye.